Let us continue playing Baldur's Gate the Enhanced Edition, when we last left off. Wild magic. Huh? Top of my this might not have been such yeah, a good idea, we right should on. have waited for God dying here, we really should have done. Or oh, heck, just waited for Zan, he's coming up soon. And I do like Zan, even if he does have a ridiculously low um, hit point count. Ah well. Oh, actually, one thing I can do is quickly talk to you and make sure there's no more... With criminals, James, a man so. Yeah. Alright, so we only got to turn the barge's um, quest to do. And we might do it sooner rather than later. But for now, now that we dealt with um, Pit Fiend's issues of our own creating, let's head to the carnival and finish up things there. There's at least one other encounter I want to get out of the way while we're there. And it might just push us over the top in terms of experience points. Yeah, I'm on them. Right. Top of my Thankfully, it was unsummoned. Which is good. And let's see what damage is left in its wake. Apparently nothing. Hurrah! Nobody died from this. We are therefore awesome and we shall continue. So, we're after one of the smaller tents um, on this side. You need a new tailor. Your clothes are absolutely dreadful. What a fabulous carnival. Are you mocking me? Away with you, beggar. Well, fair enough, then. Let's go into here where he just went. Leave us alone, will you? Nothing for you here. Nothing for us here, eh? What's this all about? She's a witch. She uses her magics to poison the children of this town. She'll butcher the livestock and seduce the young men. Make them a puppets. She must be killed. Why don't we talk, discuss this like rational beings? Just calm down and be sure it's come to some solution. Discuss this, nothing to discuss this, we shall die! Not leaving I'll smite you as well. Are you some sort of inbred hedge wizard? I really don't believe you can cast any spells at all. Come on, moron. If you're a wizard, you should be able to smite us down where we stand. That's possibly... Come on, we can't let you murder a defenseless woman. Just calm down and let's talk. Defenseless woman? She's a witch! She's dangerous, so let's be killed. Get away from me before I kill you! Uh... Sorry, but we can't let you hurt the lady. We're going to have to remove you by force if need be. Told you, but you wouldn't listen. Now she dies! And she does die, actually. But this does give her a stuff. She's flaming! Or, uh, and there we go. So now we get two sets of robes by this. You want it? You've got it. Also get a few odd bits and pieces. Oh, she has some nice stuff. I think I remember why I keep doing this. So, that's to be identified. That's to be identified. A potion of heroism, which is always a nice thing to have. And a spare antidote, which probably shouldn't go to you. It should go to you instead. Right. Make it quick. Now that that's no happened. Said than done. Gold. And more gold. Huh? Right, now that we have done that, let's go and identify... Let's identify this one. Rogue Electrical Resistance. Could be useful. And we'll have to wait till tomorrow to get that one. But still, that's a nice item when? we can sell at any rate. So, when now that we've done that, I would say we are pretty much done with the carnival. I think there's a couple more things you can get here. He sells you potions with Shav which sets stats to ridiculous levels, and fortunately it lowers them as well. So now, we yeah, begin... I'll get right on that. ...a fairly tricky part of the game. For the unprepared. Let's head to the Nashgal Mines. And find out what is causing all of this, um... All of the iron issues. Stand away, citizen. In we go. You must gather your party. Top of my to-do list. And it begins. Oh, I'm so tired. More adventures, eh? I'd leave while you can if I were you. I heard awful stories about what's happening to those who go deeper into the mines. What have you heard? 
Remember Rufy barely escaped with his life he did. Little demons jumped out of the very walls and chased him down. He'd be dead by now if it weren't for the guards that came running. Of course the guards are dead now. Old Rufy's still around here somewhere. You ask him and he'll tell you. Well, he might. You can get a few minor weapons off of the guards. They do, I think, one of them sells you things. But for the majority of, the majority of cases, we don't need to talk to any of these people. One of these is actually kind of important, but I thought he came up to us and talked to us. That's the one. Oh, I'm so tired. Lots of walls everywhere they are. No one to breathe, no one to breathe. Said they pay excellent wages, they did. Didn't tell you anything about the little holes, did they? No, space is too small, they are. Space is too small. Are you okay? What? Don't you see the walls? Walls are everywhere, no room to breathe. No room to breathe. They said they paid excellent wages, they did. Is there any little holes? Hmm. Corey? <laughs> I think I'm coughing up blood. I've heard there have been problems with the mines recently. I'm here to try and help. I <laughs> don't know what you can do about it. I'm sure there's been some problems. The order we're pulling out of this place has been crumbling almost as soon as it's cast. And one of the miners. Keep disappearing one by one. I'm missing four right now. Last few weeks we've buried at least five of us. Hmm, so something's killing a load of people. Ah, oh, you're the one. I think I'm coughing up blood. A visitor. Oh, glorious day. Don't get many of them down here, as you can imagine. Are you going down into the mines? If so, can you return this dagger to Kylie? He dropped it when uh, he went into the mines the other day, and I haven't seen him since. Yeah, we'll return the dagger. It's a, it's an easy enough quest, and I know where he is. I think. So, onwards we go. No summoning pit fiends down here. Though I know you can do worse. I, I am aware of what you could, in theory, summon if um, we do that again. I mean, the Wild Surge um, is, I think it's a it's a large table, which is yeah, it's a bonus to because of a level, which prevents all... Which means, generally speaking, she gets the better stuff from it, but... It is a horrible table. Help! Help! Alright, we'll move up to try and get some advantage. Never fear, we'll protect you from any harm. But I do, do, do. I don't think it's possible to save this guy, but I always try. Correction? I succeeded! Though he vanishes. Uh, okay. Huh? Let's go and pick up some arrows. Yes? I mean, they're the worst He's thing about done. the kobolds. They do have arrows, and the arrows can cause us some problems. Uh, no, yeah, nothing there. Where are you, boss? Because they do these six damage with um, they do these six damage with bows, and that can that can stack up. Also, they got a reasonable chance of hitting with them because kobolds, of course, are not very strong, make it but they are quick. dexterous. Make it quick. Yeah. What do you want? Seven gold and what? Of course. Daryl. Some more gold. What you got for me this time? Right, Where let's head up here. Boss? And then I think we're going this way. If I remember this correctly, I... Yes, I remember this correctly. Okay, awesome. Now, one of these... Kylie, there we are. We have a dagger for you, sir! Oh, dark you down here. Do you know what's happening in the... Do you know what they have other happenings in the mines? Kobolds are overrunning the place piece by piece. You see them occasionally, but now you can't go more than a few feet without kicking one of them on the lower levels. Not so bad up here with the guards around. Still, wouldn't we want to get caught in the dark if you were, if I were you? Do you want more experience for returning a simple dagger? It's a good quest. It's an easy one, certainly. How close are you? You're about. The problem is, Kobolds are only worth seven each, so that is on average one for each member of the party. So we need to kill quite a few of them before you'll level. Still, there are quite a few of them. And Zolviana does enough lethal damage to that one. One kobold? Really? Okay. I'm not going to go out of my way to kill all the groups, but I am just going to quickly skim the area for group... Oh. Pause button. It's always useful to have the pause button. That one ran off. But that one's still around. 
And that one's come back. Hooray! Uh-huh. Alright, go save and the day. go and pick some things up. Right. So, having done all that, we've got another gem. Which I should really sort out at some stage, because huh? I I think I was short on gold a while back and I forgot to Where take the gems boss? out of the bag. Still. Yeah, Kobold's co are no real match for even a first level party as long as you've got reasonable equipment. The only one really at risk is the mage. But then, gee, that's, that's possibly true of every encounter in this game. Ooh, dead body. I imagine there are going to be some Kobolds here. Yes, there are. You Go and kill them. Coming! Come on, get them killed. Shouldn't need to waste magic, and if we can do this without taking any damage, that'd be useful. As I say, that was useful. All right, set up there. Yeah. What do you want? Yeah. Then I'll we'll get go right and on. loot the bodies. If Dungeons and Dragons teaches anything, it's to loot the bodies of your dead enemies. Oh, come on. Ah, doesn't ha appear to have it. Yeah. What do you want? Way ahead of you, boss. Is there another group then that has the? Yeah. Right. Kill those. You Possibly frosty. frosty. Death. Yeah. Okay, good work. What is it this time? My turn to save the day. Just want you to. There we go. That's what we wanted. To, that's what we wanted to find. Don't need any more of it than the one we got. But this is the vial of mysterious liquid. Liquid inside appears to be very slightly discolored iron. That's ah, it's very slightly discolored iron, which it comes in contact with, and is likely related to the mysterious plague that renders smelted weapons and tools brittle. Cowboys you killed have tainted all the ore, leaving the mud. Mine, though it is unlikely they would have concocted this plan themselves. So we can hand that over. We should really pick up some iron as well while we're here, but huh? I think we Way only need that boss. as proof. Also, that appears. Oh no, that is of course a potion. It's the potion of that. And nothing to pick up there. And this down just leads into this area. And this area is full of traps. Yeah, I'll get right on that. But first of what all, we're going to pick up this. You, Small gem, not huh? really worth an awful lot, but yeah, it'll do. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Make now, it quick. you are going to go on to trap finding mode. Yeah? What do you want? I know where a lot of them are in this area of it, of the um, dungeon. There's also more and more difficult enemies you have to worry about here. There are kobolds with flaming arrows. And there are a lot of kobolds. Dear God, are there a lot of kobolds. Okay. You need something? It's in the bag. Start attacking the ones at the bag. What do you need? Don't worry about me. I am here, certainly. Right, we are taking a little damage from things now. Now what? If you're sure that's what you what want. Is it this I should probably set up a few scripts on a couple of characters, actually. Yeah. What do you want? Ah, oh, darn it! We're starting to take wounds. Uh huh. What you got for me this time? Come on. The kobolds should not have this much difficulty dealing with kobolds. Right. Yeah, I'll get so right on. So took that. a little damage from that. This time. Yeah, I'll get right on that. I just want you to go and clear up, make sure there's nothing valuable they're gonna leave behind. I think the bows are only short bows, otherwise I might even pick those up, but we'll now have a few arrows just to pass over to um, our ranger. Though there are some better ones a bit later. Ooh, there were some commando people there actually. So we got some upgraded arrows for the first time. So these will need identifying. In fact, they're actually plus one, I think. Which would be awesome. Next up, I'm just going to pass 49 arrows over there and make sure you are fully equipped. Okay. Yeah? What do you want? Way ahead of you, boss. So having taken a little light damage, I think what we'll do now is we'll use you your own your spell there and just yeah. just to top you up. Alright, anything around there? One cobalt. There'll be more. There are more. Oh. 
I don't think that would hurt you that badly, to be honest. In fact, it didn't. It hit you one. But the sound you made, it almost as if... Yeah. Okay. I think we're all sorted on this side of the map. So now... Make it quick. I'm gonna put you back on trap detection, GC. What you got for me this time? Where ahead of you, boss? Because the first traps I know about are coming up soon. They're about here, actually. I hope you've got a high enough skill to actually detect these, because it'd be quite useful. For you to do so, because I'd rather not use you as a trap monkey. There we go. You can detect that one at least. Disarm and retreat. Huh? I think there might be a couple more there, yeah, but that I'll at least on, prevents man. the kobolds. Yes? No sooner said than done. Any more for any more. Okay, we're going to get it for them. You, boss. Now you're going to be sorry. Darn it. I thought there was another one. Yes, of course. Still, yeah. it didn't do a lot of damage, and it's the next area of traps, which is actually the problem one. And slice. Alright, let's just keep going down here. Now, we might try resting in a bit if we um, take any significant more damage. I mean, we've got still quite a lot of healing available to us, actually. We've got three um, heat cure spells. Yep, come on, kill you. Flaming, or, uh, possibly frosty. Death. Ripping our way through kobolds. There are giant spiders around here, though. Which might present a little more of a challenge. Ooh, that definitely ca that definitely constitutes a challenge. I'll have a turn undead, start it's shooting. Uh-huh. You chromatic orb. Tell me, don't worry about me. Huh? Yeah, I'll get right what? on that. No sooner said than done. This thing qualifies as tougher. It is done. Right. Oh, in case you don't levels up from uh -huh. that. Okay. Save the day. So yeah. what can we get from the want? ghoul? We can get eh, just a silver necklace thing. So, let's process your level up. So no new proficiency slots, no new skills. A level 2 spell has been earned and additional points of lore and hit points. Hurrah! So, we now have access to second level spells. Now, what are you proficient with? Did I set this up properly? Mace. So what we can do with your second level spells is set you up a defensive one, which I tend to take stone skin. We can have a slow poison, which is always generally a useful enough spell, but it's the hold person. Hold person is phenomenal on clerics. And along sleep, it what can be one of the more useful time. spells in this game. The problem is we're not facing off against people right do. now. Although kobolds technically count, it's a bit of a waste to use them on kobolds. Oh, and I knew you were around here somewhere. Kill the giant spider, please. And this one. All right, 270 experience twice earned. And no significant damage either. Yes. Let's go and just get some cures out of the way then. There's a safe spot we can rest in coming up, so you don't have to worry so much about this for the moment. This next bit can be a little tricky because the ones at the back have flaming attacks. So you need to shoot that, you need to shoot that. In fact, you're going to cast Sleep. Now you're going to be sorry. Well, this group is going to attack. Oh. Oh. 
Did the sleep work? Yes, it did work partially. What you got for me this time? Right, kill that one. What is it this time? You need to kill that one. Huh? The rest of you kind of need to kill this. Huh? Right, now we can just kill the dead bodies. And the advantage of a sleep spell is revealed. Uh huh. I'll do it. Right now, the commanders should have. Unless they used them all. Ah, oh, did they use them all? No, there are a couple left. A couple of magically enhanced arrows. I was hoping there'd be a couple more than that, but there isn't. There are other groups that appear later. Meanwhile, give it to me straight. you've got some problems. I'll give it to you straight. You need healing. Thankfully, you've now got third level cure lights, so they do slightly more healing. Uh, oh, hold on, dead spell. Tell me. Make it yes. quick. So that taps out our healing. Huh? Yeah, I'll get right on that. Next, we approach this area. Now, before we go any further here, what you need to detect traps. A waste of and by my the way, talent. you need to detect traps here. Right, disarm that one. Yep, always get that third one because I think the third one's the magic missile trap. And there we yeah. go. What are you, yeah. All traps are disarmed. Right we can now advance. Where we have a kobolds to deal with in a tight corridor. Where ahead of you, boss? Or kobolds to deal with in a tight corridor. And here we have some more. Right. Uh, what I is might it even this go. Time? Yeah, I'm going to burn another sleep spell here to be sure of things. What you got for me this time? Oh, it doesn't sleep make this game a lot easier? On on things that sleep affects, it is yeah, just about the first level spell you. Ah. Clarification: It, it is probably the best first level spell you can have memorized on a wizard, as it deals with so many problems, or so many potential problems. It's also quite quick casting. Also, I should really have given these to you, even though I think you know all of these. Color spray, you definitely have a copy of. Right, there are yeah. a couple. What's there is one more encounter, I think, around the back here. But in the. Yeah. Right. Your concern? This is a hold on dead spell, I think. Yep, yeah, what's the other one, actually? So we're going to cast hold on dead. You, need? you rang? I'll do it. Now what? Shoot. Yes. Stab. As a matter of fact, that yeah. was so simple we never got to cast the whole undead. Still, we get a small gem for doing that. 175 experience points. And that's going to set us up reasonably nicely now. For in here. You must gather your party before venturing forth. For right. Now what we want to do is we want to sneak up here. Don't mind attracting the kobolds. Kobolds are fine. We can attract those. You need to get out of there though. Right, now that we've done that. Huh? Battle them. I am here. Yes? Okay. So nothing too significant there. Huh? Now I think we're in a safe spot that we can actually rest. So let's go and sort out our spells. So double sleep is probably not useful against what we're about to face. So I'm going to actually switch up to magic missiles. Uh, let's see, priest spells we have... I keep us on the wrong person there. I uh, don't need the clerical hammer. That could be useful. The whole person is probably only useful on one target. But there is still one target. I don't think we actually need that. We'll probably be okay as is. Right, let's rest up. 
I say, this is one of the nice safe spots, actually, in this game, actually. It's right before the boss. Always recommend saving here bef well, saving yeah, here before you do this. Right on that. We're not going to, of course, because I am silly. So what we're going to do yes. instead is we're going to try and use the real DM to attract any further kobolds towards us. I didn't think that was all of them. Yeah, top of my to-do uh -huh. list. You need something? If you're sure that's what you want. And one more. Come on, we know you're rare. Yeah, what do you want? It's only an adventuring party. You can take us. Come yeah. on, one what kobold. How is one human? How oh, brave are you, sir? Unfortunately, huh? foolish as well. You, but how brave are you, sir? Now, I tend to like fighting this guy what? up here. Because this protects the mages what? and the... A waste of my talents. There we go. Tuzok must have dispatched you. And my traitorous kobolds let you pass, didn't they? I know we cannot trust them. Harmed as such. You have obviously been sent to kill me by Sirik. No, not a measure of or oh, leaves these minds on spoils and I am to be executed. I'll not lose my head over this. No one sent us, but my head is in no less danger. Real my treachery may happen to be merciful. So that not envy. Then thou art dead. Help, my minions! Help! Right. So he spawned a bunch of skeletons behind him. This is important. You three need to deal I with that. Here. You are going to then cast hold person on him. What is it this time? You are going to cast magic missile on the first skeleton, and then you uh -huh. are going to shoot him. Are you sure that's what you want? We're in a nice little fortress position here, so. What is it this time? Let's take another magic missile. I'm over prepared for this one. Yeah. What do you right, want? Right. Deal with the skeletons now. Oh, there are still kobolds here as well, actually. But. I am here. Let's try turning undead. Indeed. Yeah. What do you want? In the meantime, just keep these guys back and keep them shooting at. You rang? Keep them shooting at things for the moment. So let's go chromatic orb on you. Yes. I'm about to say, who, why are you not what actually you seemingly attacking? Huh? I wait. Just to see these set of skeletons left, and they are falling quite nicely. Strangely though, I think the club's the only weapon that's going to do full damage against them. Oh, and the mace, of course. Top of my to -do list. Awesome. Right, spoils of victory then from that relatively top easy battle. List. One gold. Hooray, spoils of victory. Now, somewhere there's Tazok's corpse. Oh, I think he's at the front here. There we go. We get a ring, which is very, very, very valuable for us. We get that, we get two two of those which reveal there we go. The death of Malahe will relieve the fears of the terrorized folk of Nashkel. But you remain uneasy. While the half orc may indeed have caused the evils that befell the mine, the shortage of iron is too widespread to be his doing alone. His letters confirm your suspicions, and though they give little indication as to where his cohorts are hiding. They may have links to the bandits that currently plague the coast way. Hmm. Well, we're going to have to seek out these bandit groups a bit later, but for now, we'll take as much gold and things as we can. What you there are also other time. things we can do here. Top of my to-do list. Notably down here, but first, Make it quick. you are going to have to go and detect traps. Of course. I'm going to be close enough. Okay, this one isn't trapped. I, for some reason, had the feeling it was. Not even locked, actually, come to that. Either way, we get some spells. Lots of them. A moon blade, which we can't use, but we can still pick up. Uh, blade resists any attempt of using it. Likely is due to the owner and could be... No, none of can wield it. But we can certainly sell it. Uh, cannot be given it as its inventory is full. Let's give all of the spells to you. We can definitely, we'll learn the ones we can, and then we will, 
Yeah, I identify we definitely have. That's already in our spellbook. That's already in our spellbook. Charm person. Was not in our spellbook. And also we can now identify this because we have one spare spell today. Right, so items that need identifying that. The boots. Another scroll, actually. Uh, shields. Yep. Which is the anti-magic missile spell. Uh, I might actually use up this scroll of identify. So, the honorary ring of Sune, which allows a cleric to memorize one additional spell of each level, up to four. So now, we have additional spell slots for you. So that'll be a second whole person and a, fi a fourth cure light. Because cure light. Right, so, what else do we have that needs identification actually here? Boots, two types of arrows. Yeah, your lore stat isn't actually high enough for, to know which each of these are. Occasionally you do get that from the lore stat. Also, I think these can probably be sold off actually the next opportunity we get, so I'll give them to you to make sure I remember to sell them. I mean, certainly armor scrolls are sometimes worth carrying around because it just saves you that spell slot each day. Mulhay's holy symbol. Uh, letter, copy. We don't actually need that. And copy. We don't actually need that. That's a gem, as is that, as is that. So we will go and put it all in the gem pouch. Anything else? Oh, one more gem there. Okay then, so we have all of that yeah. dealt with. Let's make sure there's nothing else I'm missing. Let's go and talk to the other denizen of the depths and one of my favorite, actually no, if I talk to him he leaves. All right, we need to keep you there in case we ever need you. Bye bye, Zan. We might one day return with your moon blade, although it's unlikely because we're probably going to try and sell it. Where are you, boss? So let's get out of these mines then. Although we are now past the half hour mark, so what I'll do is I'll end the video here. Next time, we're going to leave the mines and engage in some tricky encounters outside there. We're not going north, because going north with a second or third level party is essentially suicide. It's very tricky, and I mean, I've done it once with a high level character, but I had to run away in the middle of it, so. It's not an easy encounter. There's another trickier encounter-ish to the south, but there's only one opponent and there's a way of dealing with him. So, we'll probably go there. Next time then. No wild magic issues apparently this time. No wild surges certainly and no um, random pit fiends bothering us. I think Nira's doing okay for the moment. For the moment. Until next time then.